Hi, welcome to another tutorial from Toy Stop Creations. Today we are doing yet another baby booty work flat. But this baby booty is going to be having strap and it's more or less more or less a unisex baby booty. So for this project, we're going to be needing 3.5 millimeter hook. Then we are going to be needing a sports weight yarn in two different colors, tapestry needle, tape measure to measure the sole and size of the sole. And we are going to be needing two stitch markers, also scissors to cut off excess yarn. And I have my BB foot form here. So the project is going to be on for a size zero to three months. So let's get started. We are going to start with a slip knot and make a chain of twenty five. One, two, three, four, five. Continue. I will join you at the end of twenty-five, six, six. At the end of twenty-five chains, you are going to be working single crochets for the first row. So I'm going to skip this first chain, and in the second chain, put one single crochet into that. Then we'll mark our stitch. Our first stitch. Then in each of the remaining chains, you're going to have put one single crochet in each. So continue and I'll join you at the end of the row. So let's finish the first two together. Put one single crochet in the last stitch here. So at the end of this row, you have 24 single crochets. So going forward to the second row, we chain two, turn our work, and then in the very first stitch, we're going to be doing two half double crochets. So one after the first half, half double crochet. Sorry, let me redo that. So after the first half double crochet, mark a stitch. This is totally optional, but it's best for beginners so that you can mark where you stopped off from the previous one. So inside the same stitch, one more half double crochet. Then in the next eight stitches, you're going to be having one half double crochet each. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, and eight. In the next six stitches, I need to be doing two half double crochet in each. So one and in that same stitch again. So we have five more of these to go. One, two, one, and two, three more. The last one. So, so in the next eight stitches, you're going to work one half double crochet, and in the last stitch, you make two half double crochet. So continue, and I'll join you at the end of the row. So let's finish the second row together. You know the stitch marker. In this last stitch, 
I said you are going to be doing two half double crochets. So moving forward to row three, we chain two, turn our work. In this very first stitch, you're going to be working two half double crochets. One after the first one, mark your stitch. In that same stitch, one more half double crochet. And in each stitch across now, you're going to be doing one half double crochet until the last stitch where you're going to work into half double crochet. So continue and I will join you at the end of the row. So let's finish row three together. In the last stitch, remove the stitch marker. In the last stitch, you're going to work in two half double crochet. So one and two. But we are going to be finishing this half double crochet with the color of, with the other color. So slip stitch in this color. Make a slip knot. Then you need to finish all this after we push it with this color. You can tie the hands later. So, so moving forward to row four now, chain two, turn your work. Then in the front loops only. You can see you have the front and the back loop. In the front loops only, we are going to be making one half double crochet in each stitch. So one half double crochet here. Mark it. In the front loops only, remember, one half double crochet in each stitch across. So continue, and I will join you at the end of the row. So let's finish row four together. So one half double crochet in the last stitch. But this half double crochet, you're going to be finishing with the slip stitch of the other color. So make a slip knot with this other color. And then slip stitch through. So chain one you can tie these two together later chain one turn your work and in this first stitch one single crochet you can mark the stitch then in each stitch across you are going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch so at the end of the row we should have 34 single crochet so continue with row 5 and I will join you at the end of the row. So let's finish row 5 together. Remove the stitch marker. In the last stitch, one single crochet. So chain 1 and turn. For row 6, it's basically one single crochet in each stitch, just like row 5. And row 7 is just the same thing and also row 8. So continue one single crochet in each stitch. Let me mark the first stitch. One single crochet in each stitch for row 6, 7 and 8. And I will join you at the end of row 8. So I'm at the end of row 8. So let's finish the last stitch together. One single crochet. So I'm going to finish this single crochet with a slip stitch with the other color, color white. So make a slip knot with this. Sorry. Then you're going to slip stitch through. And chain one to secure. So, turn our work. One single crochet in this stitch. Mark it. Then 
then one single crochet in the next six stitches making seven single crochets three four five six and seven this part we are doing is for the bottom hole strap so we chain 15 after seven single crochets we chain 15 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so we turn our work work our way down back skip this first single um, chain in the next chain one single crochet then we do one single crochet in each of the chains and in each of these single crochets so i will join you at the end of this room so let's finish the uh, second row together second row of the button or strap so one single crochet in the last stitch you should have a total of 21 single crochet at this point so for the third row you chain one turn our work then one single crochet in each stitch until the last three stitches so continue and i'll join you there so i'm almost at the end of row three and can as you can see here i have three stitches left one two three so i'm going to chain two one two then i'll work one single crochet in the last stitch note that the skip stitches that i replaced with the chains is the button o however you are using a bigger button you can decide to skip three stitches but my button is not that big so i'm just going to skip two stitches so that's the end of row three continuing to row four chain one turn your work <laughs> sorry one single crochet in the first stitch in those two chains that we made we are going to make one single crochet each so one single crochet here and one single crochet here then we continue one single crochet till the end of the row so continue and i will join you at the end of the row so let's finish the fourth row together one single crochet in the last stitch and you can see what our button straps look and um, button hole strap looks like so you can chain one here and cut here so we we'll go over to the other side to do our button strap so we'll make a slip knot Then join our yarn. Remove the stitch marker. Then join our yarn here. Chain one to secure. Then one single crochet in that stitch. You can mark. Then you do six more single crochets. There's going to be four rows like the fourteen person whole strap so let's make uh, seven seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven then basically just chain one turn and make one single crochet in each stitch across this is row two repeat the same thing for row three and row four so i will join you at the end of row four So I'm at the end of row four. One single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one and cut off the yarn. So with this, we have finished the bottom hole strap and the bottom strap. You can see this. But the middle part of the shoe is still missing. 
So let's count how many stitches we have. We should have 20 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So from each side, you are going to count 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mark the next stitch. Then from this side, 7 also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mark the next stitch. So that should leave us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's start our middle part. Let me cut off this yarn here. So I'll rejoin with a slip stitch. So in the stitch before the mark stitch, I'm going to slip stitch in two. Chain one to secure. There's a slip stitch. So I'm going to do one single crochet in these six stitches in the middle. Place the stitch marker. So three, four, five, and the last, the last one. Six. You place the stitch marker. So the next two stitches are going to work slip stitches. Slip stitch in the first one and in the second one. Then you chain one, you turn, then one single crochet in these six stitches. So you move the stitch marker and in this stitch. One single crochet. Mark stitch. Then the remaining five. One single crochet. Two. Three. Four. Five. And the last one. Six. Then you place the stitch marker. I'm going to skip this stitch that we slip stitch into at the beginning. Then we slip stitch into the next two stitches. One and two. We chain one and two. One single crochet. In the six max stitches again. These are row three. One. Two. Let me return the stitch marker to the first single crochet. Three. Four. Five and the last one six. And please stitch marker. That's the end of row three. Then the next one works stitches two slip stitches. One and two. Chain one and two. To start our row four, one single crochet in each of the six mark stitches. One, two, three, 
four, five. I didn't mark, I didn't return this in my phone. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one. So into the next two and work stitches on and two. We're going to make two slip stitches one and two. In chain one. We're going to get stitch marker one, two, three, four, five, six. So into the first mark stitch. One single crochet. These are row five. You are doing this for six rows. You can see that the top of the booty has started to form. So we don't stitch marker. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. Stitch marker six. So you can you can see I've stiff stitching stiff stitching to this one before. So the next one works stitches two sleeve stitches one and two. You can see there's one on work stitch here. I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm not going to do anything to this one. This is our last row, row six. So chain one. I didn't mark the last one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So one single crochet into this one. Let me mark it. So. Three, four, five, and in the last one, six. So we have one slip stitch into so in the next one, just one slip stitch. So that leaves us with one stitch here and one stitch at the other side. So I'm not going to do anything into, into those two. I'm going to leave it as it is. So chain one, turn our work. I'm going to do one single crochet in each of these stitches for row seven now. So one. So three, four, five, you have stitch marker and six. So that's your seven. So I guess you guys are going to repeat single crochet in these six stitches for it more rows. So chain one and turn. One. This is row eight now. Two. Three. Four. Five. So I mean nine more rows. So continue and I will join you at the end of row. 16 just keep doing one single crochet in each stitch across these six stitches in each row for for each row till row 16. i decided to add one more row making it row 17 so i'm at the end of row 17 one single crochet in the last stitch 
and that's the end of this part chain one to secure and leave a long tail to sew in the end so here now just attach our tapestry needle then we'll fold this inwards and sew it down to the to row one the beginning of the of the strap i mean to row seven the beginning of the strap so just insert Make sure it's tight and secure. And just continue sewing. So once we sew this down, you just have to sew up the, um, the bottom and the back of the booty. And our booty is done. Yay! So let me just quickly finish this and we'll get right down to that. So finish up while I finish up my so I finished sewing it up. You can see what it looked like. So the next thing is to sew up the bottom and the back of the booty. Since we have two different colours, for the white part here, I'm going to be using the white yarn to sew it up. And for this and um, for this little part here also, also i'm going to be using this white yarn to sew it up then for the gray part i'm going to be using the gray yarn to sew it up so just line up your booty nicely sew this piece with the white yarn or any other color you are using and sew up this side too with the other color that you choose to use so i'll just do mine and i'll come back with the end result So I finished sewing up the seam. I forgot to mention that you're supposed to turn the work so that the right sides are facing you. So on the wrong side. So let's turn our work to the right side. You can see all our seams are on the wrong side. Let's turn our work to the right side. Wow, what a lovely pretty. Let's measure the size of the sew. I told you that this tutorial is for a zero to three month size. The sew should be three point five. You can see three point five inches so let us wear the um booty for this foot form this foot baby foot mannequin so you just basically put this through this all then you attach a button to this side and wow see what a lovely booty we have isn't this beautiful so this is for the right foot so for the left foot basically what we just do is once we finish the lower part instead of doing the um button hole strap on this side we are going to do the button strap on this side and the button hole strap on the other side so that will give us the left booty so go on and do yours where i do mine and i'll come back with both foot thank you i have finished making the second booty and i've sewn it all there is to do is to um, sew on the button here and attach so you can see the booty is finished if you do like this tutorial please um comment like and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in my next video also if you like to make this booty for um, six months and nine months size three and four inches sole and four point five inches so the pattern is available in my Ravelry and Etsy store. I'll be dropping the link in the comment section below. Do I hope you do enjoy this video? See you in my next video. Bye.